Hello folks, time for another video and shave boom boom. Okay, well, I got some funky funky hair on the face. In fact, if you could see, that's over a week. And the reason is because I was waiting for a mail call from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements because if you looked at the title, I want to know what the hype is with the awesome sauce. What is the deal, ladies and gentlemen, with the awesome sauce? Now, see Chris Bailey's picture over there in the corner? Well, I know that this soap is modeled after, oh, smells great, the Parasol Green Aftershave. Now, the funny thing was, I have Parasol Green soap in the plastic container. I also have it in the cream. Um, this is not after the soap. This is after the uh, aftershave, as far as the scent is concerned. <clears throat> um, I do like the Parasol Green. Um, I like it more in the cream because I think the cream doesn't leave that white residue on your shave gear. But anyway, I go to look for my Parasol green aftershave after I saw the soap come out, I'm just to kind of, you know, say, what is this all about? I couldn't find it. I found the box. I had the box. <laughs> There's the Parasol aftershave box, but I had no cologne. So I ordered the cologne or the aftershave. It came in actually today. Um, and I only ordered this a couple days ago. I mean, it's in the new bottle. And I'll tell you what. That soap from PAA is spot on to the Parasol Green Aftershave. Good job, Douglas. So I said, you know what? Let me give it a shot. Let me see what the hype is because I've heard a lot of talk about it. Not to jump on the old bandwagon and suck somebody's behind, but hey. Oh, and I also got some funk going on my lip. I kind of nicked it last time when I was shaving, but and I'm starting to get in growing hairs. I mean, this is over a week. And I ordered from PAA over a week ago, so I know it wasn't their fault. It did take them a couple days to get the order ready and shipped out. They're probably busy. But the post office, just like, the tracking kind of stopped. It kind of stopped on, I ordered it on a Wednesday. It technically didn't get a shipping label to Sunday. And then, boom, it showed up on Thursday. So anyway, and the tracking didn't even track. It just said, delivered. So I was like, oh, okay. I wasn't expected to come in to like, who knows when. But anyway, it's here. And it's in the CK6 formula. Because when I order this, I'm usually a star jelly guy. So I normally would order the soap and the star jelly. Well, the star jelly price went up a little bit. It's not, for me, it used to be, I think it was $11 and change. But I, I know they raised the price a little bit of it. So I know if you buy the aftershave splash and the soap, it's a better deal. So I do have the matching splash to go at the end. And plus I had some points, so I was able to save even more money. So if you do order the soap and you want to save money with the splash, good to go. I wish Douglas or the powers to be at PAA would have a soap star jelly combo, but what are you going to do? Anyway, I'm going to scope this soap out now. And I've already kind of, I didn't whip it up 100%. I just kind of got it going here. And it smells really good. I mean, it smells just like the Parasso, you know, the Parasso aftershave. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up the ingredients right now. It is CK6, so I know it's going to be a great performer. And I used a Peregrino brush. And say, you know, using PAA today, so I might as well use the Peregrino brush. I know that. Uh, and we're expecting another storm, of course, because that's just the way it's been here in New Jersey. And I'm shaving with a razor that my buddy Wes sent me. Um, I'm using the Battleborn black ops razor today i kind of enjoyed this razor last time so let's give it a shot and i got a blade in here that is pretty much impossible to get nowadays so i don't even know why i picked this since i don't have that many left but i got a pull silver super iridium in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of this so first i'm going to turn this stupid shirt in because this is what was in the bathroom i'll turn the collar in i mean this was what was in the bathroom when I jumped out of the shower because I was expecting the 
package to come in a little earlier so but anyway we'll just turn that in like that and I'm gonna wet my face I do hope I don't tear this up over here because I had like an ingrown hair on my lip it looks like I got some kind of funk but it was just an ingrown hair I noticed that last shave and I'm gonna use a little bit of the soap that plopped out of my bowl as my pre-shave it's CK6 for me, so. Wow, this scent is spot on. Now, this makes two soaps that uh, I have that Chris had something to do with getting the scent kind of going on it. I have Piancenza from Sterling, which he kind of made that happen. And now I have this. I know we also had a Katie's Bubble one back in the day. I think it was the Bailey's Irish Cream, but I didn't have that one. So anyway, I just got this on the face as a pre-shave. I'm just like so stoking to shave today. In fact, if this didn't show today, I was going to shave off camera. Would have been a waste because I have all this growth. Usually I don't have this much. Usually I shave every two days. All right, so awesome sauce. Let's see what the hype is about. I know what the hype is about. It's just a great scent. When I actually got the soap from the mailbox, it was pretty hot, so I kind of let it cool off a little bit because... It was really, really kind of warm. I mean, CK6 from the usually is pretty soft anyway, but it was really soft because it was out there and it's like 94 degrees today. But we do have a storm rolling in. Hopefully I'll get this shave done before the storm and hopefully I'll be able to edit it before the storm. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it up today. I'm going to try to. It's late in the afternoon. It is Thursday. So if it goes up today, yippee. If not, it'll be up on Friday. It'll probably be up later today unless I have some kind of issues. Because we lose power and I'm editing and I can't. I can't finish it. So, Wow, that is nice. Now what's nice is on the Parasso Green Soap, which just does not smell like that, the Parasso Green Soap does have a lot of menthol in it. I'm not a... I mean, I like menthol, but I don't like it like excessive menthol. This is just perfect. This has just got a nice... Parasso Green aftershave scent. All right. Go with the Black Ops Razor. That my buddy Wes sent me. Nice. What a Paul Silver in there. Mowing down over a week's worth of growth. It's feeling so good because I hate growth. I hate it. The slickness, of course, on the CK6 is phenomenal. I definitely get a little bit of cooling from the soap. The central air is working overtime today, that's for sure.
Now, one thing that I'm looking forward to is with the aftershave splash, sun's going in, sun's going out, is the Parasso aftershave splash. Smells great. It smells just like this soap does. But the longevity of when you put it on after your shave usually isn't that long. So that's what I'm looking forward to is using the PAA Slash. Because I am sure that scent is going to stick around. Going to surprise my wife with it because she wasn't around when this stuff showed up. So she usually asked to smell my soaps when they come in. This Battleborn razor is uh, very smooth. I just did a video with this not too long ago. It kind of has that Mercure 34C feel to it. You know what? Now that I have all that whiskers off my face, I could definitely feel the nice cooling effect of the soap. Not, not overpowering, but pretty good. Pretty good. And I think the kids just got home. Yeah, here in the state of New Jersey... The kids were supposed to go back to school, back in physical school on September 3rd. Well, now they're going to be remotely in school like they were up until at least October, I think, 12th or something like that. So, wow, that was a great first pass. Residuals, oh my God. My sink is looking... Gross. All those whiskers sticking to the side. All I know is my face feels so nice now. I'm just gonna put some more water in there. Yeah, I got a little red there, but no ear. I don't know what that. I have even grown hairs or something there. It's not any kind of like cold sore and I thought that was what it was at first, but I don't know what's going on there. I think it was just because I didn't shave in over a week. In fact, my wife was even like, no shave yet? And I'm like, I'll get to it. All right, back to the... I can definitely feel the cooling now in the soap. And it feels really nice. Especially with that 94 degree weather we're having outside. And this is CK6, so it is super duper slick. I put lots of, oh, sorry, spit <laughs> lather at the camera. But I put lots of water in the in the brush in the last pass, so it's very slick. It's gonna be very slick because the more water you usually add, the slicker it gets. Alright, I'm just gonna put a little bit more water in there. Looks like I didn't have my stopper all the way down. Sorry, I know the noise is kind of annoying and I don't want to fast forward through it because I try not to edit my videos too much. I don't like to edit the content. 
I like to leave it as I go. Unless something happens, like I get interrupted by one of the kids or my wife. But usually, that doesn't happen. Boy, my face feels spectacular. So, if you're wondering what I think so far of the hype of the awesome sauce, I am really liking it. I mean, I knew that it is a Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Soap. So I knew out of the gate the performance was going to be really good. So don't get me wrong there. I just wasn't sure of the scent because I do like the Parasso Green Soap, but this is after the aftershave. Which I like even better than the soap. Actually, I think it's time for my grandkids to be picked up now. They probably don't want to leave. They always like staying with grandma. All right. Wow, that CK6 is slick. <laughs> wow. That is slick. And one thing that I will notice, not notice, but I know I'm going to notice, is usually when I use a Parasso soap, my gear is usually has that kind of white film all over it. And since this is Phoenix's, I mean, I can tell already it's nice and clean, my gear. All right. I got lather up in me nose, all over the place. And my ear. I am just a slob today, but yeah, I get a little red mark there, but I don't know what the hell that was. All right. I just have a slight little bit, which I think I could do just on residual slickness. Boy, it's really coming up right in my mirror, but I don't feel it, so who knows? All right, let me drain the sink. I think we're done with the sink. Nice, the old Lancaster Dell, aka the water soaker upper. Wanted to say the water magnet, but that wouldn't come out of my mouth for some reason. Hold on one second. Sorry, that was the grandkids. <laughs> All right. 
So that was the Lancaster. Towel there. I don't know when they're going to drop again, but I'll leave the link down below. Okay, so I'll just let this kind of drop a little bit. So real quick, I got to say, the awesome sauce is pretty awesome. If you really dig Parasso Green Aftershave, you will really enjoy the soap. Doesn't smell like the Parasso soap. Smells like the Parasso Green Aftershave. And that's what it looks like. You can see I just scraped some off of there. Bowl out of that. And I use the PAA. If I can close this. I use the PAA Peregrino brush today. With the... Like there's some kind of gooky on it. With the Roswell Knot. And I use the, use the Battle Brothers. Sorry. Got lather on my hand. Use the Battle Brothers Black Ops Razor. Thank you, my buddy Wes, for sending me this razor. Very nice razor. Very mild blade gap there. And I used a Pull Silver in there today. Very good shave. And of course, use the old Timeless Bowl. I never give the Timeless Bowl enough credit. It's a great bowl. It's my favorite bowl. It's my go-to. I do have another bowl that I, I need to use that my buddy Wes sent me, but I'm not going to tell you about it until I use it. But it was part of the goodies that he sent me. All right, so definitely going to have to use the awesome sauce aftershave. Normally I'd be putting on a star jelly, but hey, one in Rome, right? Wow. This smells exactly like the Parasso aftershave. Except I could tell it's going to last because it has that good strength scent to it. Mm. Good stuff there. So that was the matching aftershave splash awesome sauce all right so i gotta confess and say i enjoyed the awesome sauce so that's what all the hype was about the old awesome sauce i also got a red mark on my nose what's going on with me today all right folks so if you enjoyed today if you enjoyed today's awesome sauce video i sure did because i needed to shave bad uh thumbs up if you liked it if you didn't like it psh, thumbs down Please subscribe to my channel. If you're not already I'm a subscriber to my YouTube channel, you guys are awesome. I love your comments. Your comments are great. We always have, always back and, back and forth in, uh, in comments. Good stuff there. And um, I have a giveaway ready if uh, when we hit a certain number, a little higher number than we are right now. So, until next shave. Hopefully it won't be as long as it took me to do this one. But until next shave, still stay safe out there, folks. And, forget what I'm going to say. Anyway, Glenn signing off.